Hey everyone, this is my video synopsis for chapters 1, 2, and 3, um, dealing with communication and all that sort of stuff. So, first off, what is communication? Well, it's the exchange of information between different people, different cultures, things like that. Um, it's complex. It can include such things as talking, writing things down, um, and things in today's social media age with texting and tweeting. Um, there are also four main principles to this, and it's, it's a process. It's a continuous process. It's also a system. It involves interaction between two different people or groups of people. Um, it's, it involves coding information, decoding information, and it's also in, um, intentional and unintentional, whereas, you know, you could say something to someone and you could mean it um, going towards that one person and you could say something and someone gets that communication and you're not really, um, you don't intend for them to receive that communication. Um, so that's, that's chapter one, that's what I got out of chapter one. Um, chapter two is um, how this information can be perceived um, through selection, organization, and interpretation. Um, selection involves you figuring out what sort of information you want to talk about. Um, organization is, as the name suggests, you organize that information into what you want to communicate. Interpretation is how that communication is perceived um, in many different, th uh, <laughs> how it's interpreted to many different people. Um, sorry about that, I had an itch. Uh, chapter 3 um, is dealing with the development of a person's self-concept. Um, self-concept is very, very important to um, everyone. We want to feel that we are perceived in a positive way. Even now when I'm saying all this um, um, I'm thinking of how this is going to be perceived to other members of the class and especially to the professor. I say a lot of ums. I'm not good with public speaking. <laughs> um, see, I'm doing it again. A person's self-concept, it's centered around people's values, attitudes, and beliefs. Um, person's values are things such as ethics and morals. person's attitude is how we take each day, if you will. And people's beliefs are what we believe. <laughs> um, and these different things can be influenced by both culture and gender. Uh, dif different people in different cultures can have different views of how we should say certain things. I know that in America, it's more centered around us rather than in groups, and this was a topic that was brought up with indiv individualistic and collectivistic orientation, where individualistic is we put ourselves before a group, and vice versa. A collectivistic orientation is we put the group's needs before our needs. I'm more of an a collectivistic person. I think of others before myself, but other people are not the, the same way. Gender can also influence this by saying that um, people's gender identities, gender stereotypes, things like that, um, even from birth, we are given either a blue or pink hat. You know, we put it on our heads by the, the hospital, and we're known from then on as either male or female. Some people don't take that to heart, and other people, um, they're influenced by whether they're male or female. They do masculine things, or they do feminine things, rather than a woman who's a construction worker, or a male who does ballet. I mean, some people don't want to do those sorts of things that fall outside of their gender stereotypes, and other people, um, don't really care, which is great. Um, 
But that was chapter three, um, and this concludes the video synopsis. Um, hopefully, it's it helps some people. All right, thank you guys.